It can be a little nerve wracking selling a designer bag. Odds are that if you bought it, you invested in it, and you have some emotional attachment to it. You don't want to lose money, you don't want to lose time, and you definitely do not want to be scammed by anyone. So if you're curious about the top resale platforms out there, then stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing a straightforward guide on the pros and cons of the different ones. The resale market is booming right now, so there are definitely options. Every website that I mentioned, I'm going to leave linked down below. But before we get into it, if you like shopping pre-loved, then please click the subscribe button because I come out with new videos on this topic every week. And if you find this kind of information valuable, please give it a thumbs up. It's a brand new channel and I would appreciate it so much. Out of any of the companies that I researched, the one with the highest ratio of positive to negative reviews was Anne's Fabulous Finds. People say that she provides very good customer service and she's also a very honest business person. On the downside, people have also said that when they send their items to her to list on her website, it can take a little bit longer than they would like. On top of that, she's selective with the bags that she's going to accept. So if you have a bag over $1,000, it could be a great company to check out. Another place that you can check out is The Real Real. One of the great things about The Real Real is that they have a huge customer base and they sell a lot of different items. They say that most sales occur within 30 days. They also make things relatively easy for you. You send in your item, they take the pictures themselves, they list them on their website for sale. But on the downside, the payout won't necessarily be the highest. Also, they do a lot of sales and I've heard that people are sometimes caught off guard when their items sell for a sale price as opposed to the price that they thought the item would sell for. Tradesy is similar to The Real Real in the sense that their commission rates are alike and they also have a very big audience. One of the big differences is that with Tradesy, you don't send in your item to be sold. You keep it yourself, you take your own pictures and upload them to the platform. When a customer buys your bag through the website, that's when you ship in your item. So if you want to hold on to your item before it sells, this could be a good option for you. On the downside, I've heard that it can take Tradesy a little bit more time to pay you after the sale is made compared with other resale platforms. If you'd like to take a more active part in the selling process, then you might want to try Vestier Collective. With Vestier Collective, you take your own pictures, you upload them to the website, you also set your own price, you write your own descriptions of the item, etc. But in exchange for that work, when the item sells, you're going to take a larger percentage of the money that's made. In other words, Vestier Collective is going to take a smaller cut than other places like Tradesy and The Real Real. But if you don't want to do that work, there's also Vestier Collective's concierge service. So you'll send your item to Vestier Collective, they'll take the pictures for you, they'll write the descriptions, etc. One of the things that I really love about Vestier Collective is that they cater to a worldwide audience. So you don't have to be in the United States to consign with them. You can be in many, many different countries. If you really want to be active on the platform, then Poshmark could be the one for you. It's kind of like a social network, and you can interact with people on the platform and if they have questions, you can answer them, etc, etc. You can do this with Vestier Collective too, but I find that with Poshmark, there's an even more active social community. So if you're looking to build good relationships with the people who are buying from you, Poshmark can be the way to go. Also, the percentage that they take on sales is relatively low. On the downside, there was a scandal that doesn't reflect so well on their customer service. I'm going to leave a link down below. But overall, they have a huge audience base. They have a lot of people selling on the platform. So that really does add to their credibility. If you want things to be really, really easy, then you might want to go with Fashion File. Fashion File will just buy your bag from you outright so that you don't have to go through the process of trying to sell it yourself. They've been in business for many, many years and people really love them. There are a lot of positive reviews. But on the downside, some people have said that they've received good quotes at times and then bad quotes at times when selling their bags to Fashion File directly. The other main complaint that I've come across is that some people's bags don't get purchased by Fashion File and they aren't provided with a clear enough reason as to why that is. If you want to make sure that you get as much money as possible for your bag, then you should also send in your item for a quote from Yuki's Closet. Yuki's Closet has been around for a very long time as well, also very well reviewed, so send your bag, <laughs> so send your bag to Fashion File, send it to Yuki's Closet, and then see whichever one gives you the best quote for your item. A newcomer in the market, relatively, is Rebag. Rebag really values transparency and efficiency. 
So you can send in your item for a quote, you're guaranteed to sell your bag for that price, and you'll get paid quickly and easily. And they come out with some really cool technology. They have something called Claire. Claire will tell you how much your bag is worth so that you can be prepared before you end up selling it. But keep in mind, like Fashion File and like UB's Closet, etc., you're not gonna end up with as big of a payout just because it's risky for the company to buy your bag outright as opposed to taking a commission once the sale is made. If you have any questions that I didn't go over, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you have experience selling with any of these resale platforms, it could help me, it could help other viewers, so it would be very appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe and ring the bell. I'll see you next week.